Welcome to this Getting Started tutorial for the 2016 Mission on Mars Robot Challenge. The focus of this video is to show you how to retrieve the project files and how to use them. First, you need to get the zip file from MATLAB Central. You can get there directly from MATLAB, but before that, let's take a look at the interface. You have the tool strip at the top, and below that, your current location on your machine. The content of that folder is located in the current folder window on the left, and in the middle you have the command window where you can type MATLAB code. Finally, on the right is the workspace which contains the variables in memory. The simplest way to go to MATLAB Central is to go to the Home tab and click on the Community button. This will open your default web browser to the MATLAB Central web page. All the files are located in the file exchange, so click here and then simply type Mission and Mars Robot Challenge in the search box and hit Enter. Now be careful to pick the correct post, which is the 2016 one. And finally, the last step is to hit the download button. Once this is done, you can go back to MATLAB and navigate to your download folder. For example, by clicking on the Browse button and selecting the correct folder. Now, you don't really want to work in your download folder, so you should probably copy the zip file, for example, by right-clicking on it and selecting Copy, and paste it somewhere else. In my case, I'll just go back to the previous folder and paste it here. To create the project from the archive, go to the Home tab, then select New, Simulink Project from Archive, and then you can either type the zip file name or browse for it. Then click Extract, Yes, and the Simulink Project is created. It also opens the Simulink Project window where you can see all the files and folders of the Simulink project. If you need to open the project again later, simply double-click on the .prg file. When you open the project, there is also a message printed in the command window with two hyperlinks. The second one, Setup Arena, is used to create scenarios with obstacles and targets. I'll talk about that part in more detail in another video. But if you cannot wait until then, the documentation is located in the doc folder, right here. The first link will open the simulation model, which is located in the model folder, here. So click on the link and the simulink model will open. It is mainly made of blocks and the signals interconnecting them. The first thing you should do is run the model. To check if it works. You can do that by clicking the Run button. The model is first compiled, then starts running and the simulation window with the robot will open. To stop the simulation, simply hit the Stop button. Now before we finish, a few words about the model. There are three main blocks, Scoring, Robot Model and Input Processing. You should modify only what is inside the input processing block, as it contains what will ultimately be uploaded on the robot if you manage to reach the finals. You can look at what is inside the block by either double-clicking on it or by using the model browser on the left sidebar. That's it for this tutorial, and for information the subject of the next one will be Stateflow, and it will tell you more about these yellow blocks that you see here. Thank you.